Hi, I'm Kirsch Mackey. In this video, I want to show you my first impressions of the latest version of Altium Designer 20.2.4. So in this video, I'll be going over what I might like about the software, but this is my first impressions of 20.2.4. If you're using a different eCAD software, then definitely stick around, watch this video, because then you'll get to see how Altium is different from your CAD software. And who knows, you may want to try it out yourself. There is a free trial available and the link is in the description below. So let's get started. Uh, in Altium, once you installed it, let's see, I installed it here. We can just go to File, New, Project. So I like how it's in the normal location, like every Windows application software. And then we have the Create Project window, so this is nice. Okay. Uh, what's really cool is you can do multi-board, a multi-board project, so I like that. I don't really see that in other CAD software. And then there's Altium 365. Now this is my Hasofu workspace. You can set up workspaces, which is really cool. And these are in the cloud. So if I click on here, uh, let's see. All right, so now we have the project type PCB project underscore one. So, okay, here's the thing. First thing, you can do your cloud project. You can do version control projects, which is really cool. And you can do local projects. So I like that. I like how they just make it very clear. It's in your face and there's no confusion about where you can put your projects. And then you can have a description for your project. So let's say uh, first impressions project or something like that. Enable formal version control. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, and here's the advanced. This shows you the local storage you can put in. Uh, this is where you get it set up when you install the software. So let's create this. Let's see. So we have the new project. Now what's interesting about projects in Altium is you need to like click on the project. You would right click and then add new to project. So let's look at the options here. We have validate PCB project, okay. Add new to project. You, so you can add schematics, PCBs, uh, as printed circuit boards, of course. Also the Draftsman documentation. I like how Draftsman is in here. So you can you can set up a lot of different things in here from the get-go. You can rename the project, save it to the server. I like the version control options and variants. Okay, so I like how everything is just in your face. So let's go to schematic. And that's fast, okay. That's a really fast schematic. And then let's go create a new PCB, add new to project PCB. All right, so the PCB got loaded quite quickly. And this is the schematic sheet. All right, so I noticed at the bottom here, there's a shift space. Wow, it's cycling through the different shortcuts or shortcut keys, so that's really cool. Now, if you click and hold down on an option, then you can look at the different options there. So let's place a part. How is this? Okay, cool. Now when I click on these different devices, I can double click and place my part. Let's see. Ah, okay, there we go. Yeah, so you can play mul place multiple instances of any particular part, just like any software. Now if you right click, you can get out of that operation mode. So yeah, I like that. I like how it uh, exits just with the mouse button. So I like how they have the manufacturer part search. Now what's cool about this is you can save a lot of time. Let's try it out. Let's click connectors. All right, so I'm gonna try to place this Molex connector. Right click, place, okay. This is a little off. I'm going to hold down the control key, scroll out a bit, or zoom out, and then, okay, it gets placed. Zoom back in, nice. Now, I'm gonna try a, the PCB version. So let's save everything, so let's do a save all. I like how smooth the Altium software is. It's pretty nice. All right, let's save this. And then you can name your, your PCB documents, whatever you want. Notice there's a separate document for each thing. So 
by thing I mean the schematic page that has the this extension and for the PCB it has its own extension. All right, so no footprints on the PCB. How do we fix this? Let's go to design. So we'll update the PCB and then we'll validate the changes that we make on the schematic. You have to validate the changes and then execute the changes. Then once that's done, we get into the PCB mode. So let's close this window and see what we've got. Here we go. Components. I like the scroll. I really like the scroll feature here. And if you use the middle mouse button, let's see. All right. You can use the middle mouse button to zoom in and out. I, can, I like how I like that. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I can use my right mouse button to drag the window around. Okay. All right. Now let's move these two components over here. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So if I move this room around, this box indicates the room that they're all a part of. They're all a part of this sheet over here, the schematic sheet. So if I move this around, it moves all of the components, all of the devices on that sheet. Let's look at the 3D view. Let's take a look. Let's go to 3D layout mode. Whoa, okay, that was fast, all right. And if I hold down the shift key and the, and the right mouse button, I can rotate this board. Okay, so scrolling up and down. Wait, what's going on here? All right. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and you can see through the board too. That's pretty cool. Man, this 3D rendering is nice. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick recap of the Ultium Designer uh, experience. And this was a nice quick dive. I liked transferring a schematic to PCB. I really liked the project setup process and that was really cool. And it's just really easy to set up the project. And I also like all the templates that are available for your project when you're creating it. I don't see that in certain other CAD software sometimes. Now, I also really enjoyed placing components. It's really easy to do that from your pre-existing library or from manufacturer part search where you have access to tons of parts, millions of parts online. So that's really cool. And then there was a really cool feature that stood out. It's the shortcuts at the bottom of the schematic page. I didn't even notice that until uh, just it's by mistake. So that's really awesome. I like that little Easter egg. Then there was the process for transferring the schematic to printed circuit board. So you validate your changes and then you execute your changes and then your parts show up. So that's awesome as well. Really easy. Then there is this other part where you can move the components by room or by schematic page specifically. So in Altium Designer and in other CAD software as well, you can move your components by room, by reference designator, whatever. But I like that they automatically do that for the schematic pages in Altium Designer. But I liked how the PCB 3D view loaded pretty quickly and it looked quite nice. You can move it, drag it around, things like that. And it just moves so fluidly and the controls are easy to work with. You don't need a 3D mouse or something like that to look at your PCB in the three dimensions. All right, awesome. So I liked working with Altium there and also eCAD software in general. I, I have multiple eCAD software that I really enjoy, Altium being one of them. And of course, the other eCAD, the other popular eCAD software as well. Now you may be working with a different eCAD software and that's fine. If you want to try Altium for yourself, you can just go to the link in the description below for the Altium free trial. Or you can go to Altium's website directly or look through your, uh, use your search engine to find the Altium free trial. Either way, you can go test out Altium for yourself, try to do a design. You can follow this video as a quick mini tutorial or whatnot, and that'll work. And see what you think about it, see what you like. 
comment down in the description below. Well, not in the description, but <laughs> comment down in the comment section below and then let me know. Let us know what you think about Altium as well, or even about your own eCAD software, what you like, what you don't like. Also, if you're using Altium or Eagle, you can go to this free tool called Altium Viewer, also created by Altium. And this is completely free, where you can upload your schematics, your PCB files in Autodesk Eagle or Altium Designer and other eCAD software packages are going to be supported as well, where you can share your designs with other people who just need a web browser to view your design. So that's really cool. I'm going to test this out and probably make another video on this one as well. This is really exciting. Okay. If you want to see more videos that I do on eCAD software or just software in general, or any reviews and tutorials, feel free to hit that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you see when my latest videos come out. If you don't hit that bell to change the setting after you subscribe, then you won't automatically get all the notifications. Also, comment down below if you have any thoughts, impressions, opinions, questions uh, about Altium Designer or eCAD software in general. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.